Hello guys. To, uh, today I'm gonna show you how to uh, smoke some shrimps. Um, for that you need a uh, smoker. Uh, this one is from Abu. Swedish, I think. It's been used. Um, just smoke, smoke residue left there. Um, so yeah, this is a very good smoker uh, for yeah you can bring it everywhere because uh, it's pretty compact uh, has two burners like that and you can basically put put everything inside and uh, close it and bring it with you so this is the base Place it like this. I don't know if you see it. Yeah, like that. And this is uh, to to uh, tur turn off, turn out the the fire. When you place the two burners inside, like this. Uh, like that. And then you need. Uh, I don't know what it's called in in English. It's basically alcohol. Um, ethanol. Yeah, ethanol. Don't drink it. It will be it will make you sick. Pour some of that into the burners make sure it's enough so they don't go out before the smoker is done like this and this is a smoker cabinet it has ashes inside before and you put that on, on the side like this this is the drip tray yes it will be on top of the wood so the uh, the uh, water from the shrimps don't drop into the into the wood and st uh, stop stop the smoking process. And I pour just enough to cover the. bottom the thin layer just enough so you can see see the metal almost not see the metal like that I'll show you just like this and then on top you leave the drip tray this one Then the first layer of grating, like this, just leave it on top of that one. That will be the first layer of. Uh... No, this, sorry, I was wrong. This is the first layer because this has a holder like that. To keep the distance like that and this pegs under here keeps the distance on the first layer it's important to have a bit of distance so I'll show you I have cut out some uh, I've cut out some nets 
nets like this is barbecue uh, nets to so there was it was basically a big rounded one so I cut it in pieces to fit inside the grill this is to prevent the shrimps to 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 fall uh, between the scraping and uh, and down into the other layer to keep the, the good separation so the first net I put on the first layer while we're at it you can you won't see the flame you will you will feel it that they are hot because when ethanol is burning it doesn't necessarily give off a flame and this is shrimps it's frozen they have been cooked before uh, so they are orange this they have they are frozen and that's important it's very important to have frozen shrimps this is because you don't want to cook the shrimps to uh, a second time you only want to defrost them in smoke if you don't smoke frozen shrimps if you if you for example have fresh shrimp uh, fresh cooked shrimps they will they will turn into like rubber they won't be uh, the the, cost, the 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 shrimps will be not be nice at all so that's the first layer you can see keep them separated like this don't don't pile them up on on each other like that and then the second layer on top and once more one one more net and then do the second layer on top here i'll show you when when i have Put it like this just enough shrimps for two layers like this now it's good. it's two layers like that with a net on each layer and in the bottom the Good chips. It's uh, from apple tree, and it's uh, really good for for shrimps. It even says on the packet. This this uh, chips are very good for for uh, smoking shrimps. Yes. Okay. Then take this one. Cover it up. Usually close this uh, ventilator like that. Now it's closed. And we just put it on top here, just like that. So usually just keep them there for seven minutes until they are defrosted. That's basically what you need to do. Uh, you don't need to cook them, so it, it shouldn't take much time. Just feel the heat. Both of them. Let's see. Double check. This one is, both of them are burning. That's good. Just leave them there for seven to ten minutes. Now it's been seven minutes, the shrimps are done. Open the latches. Oh yes, and it looks like that. So then I'm gonna take this net and 
pour the shrimps into the plate. Turn off the, the dose. Just to kill the fires like that. All right. As you can see, my wife is very happy, and the result is pretty good. Look at that nice color, very nice. We we have aioli here, it's pretty good with uh, some bread and lemon and butter. That's pretty good. Yeah, and this is in case you don't want uh, the garlic. Bon appetit.